is Star Wars Legion, Cassian Andor, and K2SO. A commander expansion with K2SO being an operative that's unlockable if you take Cassian as your commander. So turning this around in this kit, you're going to get Cassian, you're going to get K2SO, your associated cards, and a token card sheet. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. All right, first off, you're going to get your build guide. So starting off with the guide itself, you have K2SO. He's just a few pieces here, arms. Uh, you have two different versions of the arms, one holding a grenade, one not, one holding Jin's blaster, and one not, and then his torso and head. Inside, you're gonna have the assembly for Cassian. So Cassian does have a few different options. He has the A08 blaster pistol, the compact version. He also has the A280 CFE pistol, as well as the A280 uh, CFE sniper configuration. You do have a couple different uh, options for the other arm based on whether or not you're going to use a sniper rifle or one of the two pistols here. And as you can see, only a few components in terms of the torso, including the backpack. Here are the different versions of him that you can build. One with the compact pistol, one with the full uh, CFE pistol, uh, as well as the sniper rifle. So, they got a few special rules. Let me see if I can Pull this up and then we can zoom in just a little bit. So uh, he'll get Danger Sense 3, Detachment, Cassian Andor. You also have Guardian 4, also get Gunslinger, and then you also get Incognito Token. Obviously that is K2SO in that um, token there. Because he is a former Imperial droid. And then lastly, on this side you get Indomitable, then you get Infiltrate, you get Marksman, Operative token, uh, that's for K2SO. And then lastly, teamwork, Cassian Andor. So lastly, on the final page, just all the contents in the box. So. After that, you do get your baggie with all your components for Cassian and for K2SO. Get your token and card baggie. We'll go through that in a little bit. And lastly, your bases. So we'll take a look at the sprues. And here's the sprue. You have Cassian up here. And then on this half, all of K2SO's components. Again, very well detailed. And because this is a newer kit, it is not that softer like plastic that Fantasy Flight uses. This is the hard plastic. I do like that you have different gun options our arm options for both Cassian and for K2SO. And we'll put this together and take a look, closer look at them later on. Okay, because you're getting both Cassian and K2SO, you do have two token cards here with all their appropriate uh, tokens. So there's that incognito one that we read about earlier. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, there are quite a few upgrade cards included in this set because you have two because you have both figures, uh, HQ Uplink, Recon Intel, Grappling Hooks, Overwatch, Duck and Cover, Hunter, Offensive Push, Jin's S14 Blaster, or SE14 Blaster, and then the A280 CFE Pistol Configuration. So on the other side of that is also the Sniper Configuration, and uh, yeah, that's it. All right, you do get four command cards here. Three of them are for Cassian, one is for uh, K2SO. So Cassian's um, one pip is crack shot. Cassian Andor gains gunslinger and one aim token. At the end of his activation, he may gain one suppression token and he gains one standby token. His two pip is last stand. When Cassian Andor issues an order to a commander or operative unit, that unit gains indomitable and gains one aim, one dodge, or one suppression token for each wound token that unit has up to three. His three pip is volunteer mission. When Cassian Andor issues an order to a commander, operative, or special forces unit, that unit recovers, gains danger sense one, and may gain one suppression token. K2SO's three pip is sacrifice. K2SO gains guardian four. At the end of K2SO's activation, you may choose another friendly commander or an operative unit at range one and in line of sight of K2SO. If you do defeat K2SO, an enemy units cannot perform the range attacks against the chosen unit until the end of this round. Definitely a very fluffy uh, card for K2SO, as seen in Rogue One. So. All right, rounding off the cards, we have their character cards. So Cassian Andor is 90 points. He has covert ops. When you deploy, you may change your rank to operative. If you do, you gain infiltrate. He gets danger sense three. 
Loadout, when you deploy, you may swap any of your equipped upgrades with your set-aside upgrades. You get marksmen while attacking, you can spend aim tokens to improve attack die results. Tactical 1, after you perform a standard move, gain one aim token. His advanced combat training has two red die. And then Cassian's Covert Blaster is a 1 to 2 range with one red die and two white die and gets Pierce 1. Pierce 1 while attacking cancel up to one defense result. Right. K2SO is 70 points. He gets Calculate Odds, choose a friendly trooper unit at range 1 and in line of sight. It gains one aim, one dodge, and one suppression token. Armor 1, while defending, cancel up to one hit result. Detachment casting Andor. He also gets incognito. Enemy units beyond range 1 cannot attack you unless you have attacked, defended against an enemy attack, or performed an objective card action. He also gets teamwork casting Andor. His attack is overpower with 4 red die. And then he just has a bunch of fluff. Let's go ahead and put the figures together and see what they look like assembled. All right, here are Cassian and K2SO assembled. So we'll go ahead and take a closer look. Um, I decided to go with the sniper configuration of his blaster. Uh, again, very well detailed. Beautiful figure. Very easy to put together because it's hard plastic. All right, and then with K2SO, I opted to go with him armed with Jin's blaster, as well as holding a grenade. It doesn't look like it's going to be very complicated to paint K2SO, just in a dark gray and some shading and obviously some highlighting where needed. But uh, Beautiful figures, again, Star Wars Legion always has great looking uh, models. Uh, with a close approximation of the actor that portrayed the characters in the movies and shows. So, yeah, there you have it. And there you have it, Star Wars Legion's Cassian Andor and K2SO, a commander and operative expansion for your rebel faction in Star Wars Legion. Uh, definitely a great option to have, especially if you take Cassian as a commander, you unlock K2SO as an operative uh, for your, your force. Um, again, I think this is a great value pack because you get two great characters. I personally loved Rogue One and K2SO was obviously one of my favorite characters. I think he's a, he's a easy favorite for many people who have seen and love the movie. So, all right, that's it. If you like this video, go ahead and click like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I appreciate it if you would. Click the bell notification icon to get notified of all new unboxings coming out of the channel. And then click the link in the description below to join our Discord server. That's the best way I can personally interact with you and chit-chat to you about Star Wars Legion and any other game that we cover on the channel. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more unboxing videos from Wargaming News.